Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Many men get tired. Now, ladies, you know, I'm usually telling y'all what y'all could do to get a man and stuff. And, you know, that's the main thing and how to appeal to the better men out there. I'll say that. Um, the better for you, you know, productive type of men. But this this, this piece right here, I'm, you know, I, I'm just going to say something that many men feel. And it's contributing to some of these uh it's contributing to some of these movements away from women or and it could even be on um some um you know uh racial thing, you know. Cause I know I got a lot of sisters on here. This contrib this actually contributes to many black men that want to deal with black women. And you see it in other races quite as kept. Because you, 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 they are, you know, the most prevalent interracial coupling in this country is really not black, not black men and white women, but actually white men and Asian women. And it's all, it's the same principle regardless of race. Many men just get tired. Ladies, dealing with a lot of women ain't always like sugar and spice. Now, I know women who follow me. I know y'all some good ladies, and y'all be an asset to any man because you're following me, paying attention, you got some sincerity. But y'all know y'all got some trifling sisters out there. And when I say sisters, that go across the race. You know, some trifling Asian women, white women, Hispanic women, Eskimo women, you know, Martian women, everything. Black women, <laughs> there's some trifling women. And, you know, it ain't like the guy is just trifling to run into him. He don't he didn't know she was trifling. Shoot. Shoot. Some of the most craziest women and most toxic women, shoot, look like they should be in church. Shoot. Sometimes they in church. You know, that's one thing. Sometimes, sometimes I prefer to deal with the wild, crazy looking one because you know what you're going to get. You see it. <laughs> nah, the most toxic ones. And I've personally, I've met... And I've known and met some women very toxic, but they look innocent on the surface. You know? And so men deal with them. They deal with the craziness. They deal with the drama and all that. And they just like, man, I, I can't deal with this anymore. Like, there was a, one thing that, uh, there was a seminal movie uh, that came out about 2005. It's called Diary of a Tired Black Man, directed by a gentleman, uh, written and directed by this gentleman, uh, Tim Alexander. It was a combination of, um, for those who might not remember it or didn't see it, it was a combination of some uh, fiction pieces, some uh, some drama, and but also conversations with uh, regular people. So it was kind of, it was a... Um, it was an interesting style of doing it, and it had a very big impact. And it first came to prominence because uh, Tim Alexander shared. Uh, I'm gonna try to find that clip and put it in a put it in the description box. I can't guarantee it, but in the clip, a gentleman was coming to. Uh, he was coming to do uh, get something. I can't remember exactly what it was, because I'm thinking about the sequel now that he was trying to do. But he, he was coming to deliver some money and something, and I think he had a white woman in the car with him. It was a brother had a white woman in the car, and the sister was getting all mad, but previously they had been talking trash about him. And he had to just let her know what's up. He was just tired. He was doing all this stuff and he was tired. And a lot of men, a lot of men get there. And then, like I said, I know it's not y'all. I hope it's not some of y'all, but then again, some, you know, just admit it. We all do bad things. Some of y'all might have engaged in the behavior and probably at one point or another didn't treat a man or a man as well as you could have. And sometimes the man just say, you know what, I'm just tired. It ain't even he mad. Because a lot of times many men get to the point they just expect this. This is just like, you know, this is just how they behave. 
And just to be clear, it's not always uh, just non-select men either. It's non-select and select men. You get there's some select men. They just get tired of they just just a different thing. They might just get tired of like unnecessary drama because one thing select men will get is drama. Because we know how it is, and I've, I've said this to the men in a video. You know, you can't deal with a woman's emotions without catching some drama. But many men just get tired of it. It's just like, man, you know, I don't feel like this. I don't feel like going through it. Because, you know, y'all complain about, women complain about the games men play. But, it, you know, only game that you can play by yourself is solitaire. And we're not playing that. So it takes two to tangle. So you got some women out there. I mean, I've, I've actually known some women. They, they looking for some slick stuff to do. Or running that game, talking some stuff. And, you know, it's just like, man, do I feel like dealing with this? Is what I'm getting worth what I'm getting? And if I got to explain that to y'all, come on. <laughs> Seriously. You be like, uh, man. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. You just like, man, this, this is crazy. You know? And, that, and that's something to consider. Sometimes you might just see that guy, he's just quiet. He's like, you know, I don't feel like dealing with it. And see, it really, actually, it hurts good women, like sincere women. Because there's a lot of women out there, and y'all know it. Y'all probably got some of y'all probably dealing with it. Y'all probably dealing with some dude. You got some women, some of y'all dealing with some dude who's a good guy. He did his thing, and you're definitely a good woman. You supportive and all that. But he ain't, act, he ain't acting his right towards you. Because his behavior was shaped, you know, his behavior was shaped by those trifling ass women. So you might meet him somewhere, but you know what? He ain't taking a hint that you, wanna, you want him to ask you out. And shoot, you might even get up the courage to ask him out. And dude's still like, no. Nah. It ain't nothing against you. Don't take it personally. Well, in most cases, it could be he ain't attracted to you. But... That's another video. Just imagine he could find you attractive, but he's just like, man, dude, do I feel like going through this again? You know. In fact, I did a video on my men's channel talking about men just getting tired of the game. Well, shoot, I want to let y'all know. Sometimes, you know, it's like, do we feel like dealing with this? Shoot, I get like that probably. I say a few times a year, I get like that. I'm just like, I don't feel like this stuff. You don't feel like talking to somebody, you know. It'd be some sincere women being trying to talk, but if it catch me the wrong time, I'm like, yeah, I'll get back to you. <laughs> be those like those one-word answers on text and stuff. Ain't nothing against them, but shoot, you deal with enough and you deal with enough drama, shoot, you stop valuing it. You stop valuing that time. You just get tired. You're just like, man. And like I said, ladies, they ain't so much... Uh, you know, it's like you, if you're a good woman, you know you're supportive. Sometimes you got to deal with what the bad ones are dealing with. Just like some, just like some times with uh, women, y'all might give a good guy or not. Y'all might give a good guy or keep him at a distance or not feel like dealing with him because you done dealt with so many bad ones. And you just tired. You just like, man, I can't keep going through this. And it is understandable. See, remember, even though men are mostly logic, we still got that percentage of us got some emotion in it. In other words, we still got hearts. Now, I know some women say, no, nah, y'all don't have a heart. I say, yeah, I keep telling y'all I stopped dealing with just players or those cold-blooded players. <laughs> Most men got some heart. Most men are going to feel emotions. In fact, it's said that when men fall in love, they fall in love deeper. Because it's not in our nature to lead with our emotions. So when we actually feel them, we've, we've, we feel them. And, you know, you get some guys, they done did, I mean, there's so many dudes out there, they done honestly worked hard to do the right thing with the women they with. But, you know, they catch some hell, got caught in some of her games, got caught in some of her drama and stuff, and they just like, man. And it'd be the main ones. It'd be the main ones. It's like the good ones, really good ones that, like, refill into the main ones y'all want. Because the trifling ones, shoot, they, 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 they caught up in the game themselves. They loving it. They like, shoot, bring it on. Let's party. Let's party. Yeah, so anyway, something for y'all to think about. I'm, I'm, I'm a, if y'all don't see the link in there, for whatever reason, I couldn't find it. So, but I'm hoping it'll be there. So anyway, that's it for now. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.